Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. Today we are going to discuss about how we can use this Office 365 users axon um, or the data connection to connect with Office 365 to get details about the user, whether it is a logged in user or any other user. I will show two examples on this. Uh, first, let's understand what is this data connection. So this data connection is a standard connector. So it's not like a premium connector. You can use it on your power apps with the license which you have. And uh, once you connect to this, what you can do is you can access user profiles from your organization uh, by using your Office 365 account. And what it will give, it can give you your profile, your any other user's profile, uh, user's manager or direct reports like this information it will give. I'll show you one example where I will display how we can get your profile details like your name, your email, your company, let's say address, all these things. And other one I will do is I will show you how we can display other users uh, details here on this, right? So we will see both the things. Now let's me open the browser. Uh, so you can see here, uh, this is my Power App Studio. And on this, uh, we'll click on create and I'll create a blank app on this and I'll create this. I'll give a name, let's say Office 365 users demo, something like that I'll give. I'll choose the tablet layout for this. There is no change on that. I'll click on create. And uh, now what we will do here is first thing is we will connect to the data source. Now there are other connectors like let's say you are connecting to a SharePoint list then it will give you a data in tabular format but what it will do here is it will give you some functions and you can call that and you can get some details. So uh, in the screen uh, what I'll do here is uh, let me make it little bigger so you can see here. Now on this what we will do here is you can click over here and then you can go to the connectors and you can uh, search for a connector and connect it or here you can click on this and then you can click over here and you search for office 365 so once you uh, select for office 365 you will be able to see a connector you, here you can see office 365 users and this is not a premium connector you can see it here these are premium connectors where there is a symbol like this now let's click on this now uh, you can see here that's the connector and i have connected to this now once you connect to this uh, next what we can do here is I'll give you a small example that in a lot of applications you might want to show a hello message let's say hello and the username uh, you want to print so in those cases what you can do here is exactly is you can connect to uh, this uh, data connection and uh, you can get the logged in user details and the logged in user details will come uh, by using uh, a function called as my profile v2 action right so how we can use this uh, so in this case what i want to use it is uh, see these properties i might use in different uh, screens throughout the application so i should not connect to uh, to that one and retry it every time instead what i'll do is i'll use a global variable and i will use that so for this what i'll do here is so in the on start property what we will do here is i will use the set variable so set and then i will uh, give a name for the variable set we can use to uh, declare a global variable so i will say user uh, let's say info and uh, what we will do here is i will uh, use you can see here office 365 users and when you do dot you will see various properties here you can see methods now what i am doing here is you will see here there is various properties you can here use here i will use my profile v2 the property here right and then i'll close this bracket so now what will happen is uh, this will contain our my profile details okay so i will just close it here now uh, next what we can do here is uh, we need to that means we added on the on start property so that means when the app will start then only uh, you know this property will execute but what you can do here is you can right click and run on start so when you will do run on start the on start property will execute so uh, that means now the value will be there on this variable so what i'll do here is i'll add a couple of text label here because i want to display the information on the text label you can see it here right so 
let's say these are some of the uh, you know text labels i have added here uh, and let's say this is one uh, where you can write something for example you will say hello and uh, then uh, probably you want to append the name so you will say var user info that's the uh, variable that contain all the properties now you can see here and if you'll say display name now you can see here it is displaying hello bjs right so my name it is displaying same way suppose i'll go to any other properties i will say uh, var and user info dot let's say you want to uh, populate the city so now you can see here it is showing the city same way you can access let's say i'll say var user info dot and uh, then i'll say let's say department now the department will come you can see here at right same way i will just add one more property here var user info dot and then you can say here suppose i want to have the mail now you can see here you will be able to see the mail address right so this way you can get all the properties now before going to the second example i will just uh, try to show you the training course that we have if you are serious about learning sharepoint power platform spfx all these things then i have a complete training course you can see here now the currently price is this thing 249 dollar and what you will get now is you can get all these courses you can see it here uh, this power platform course i am recreating it and uh, uh, it will complete very soon I, it's already released that means you can keep learning because every day i am adding lectures to it but with that you will get two products on this uh, one is a, a product which is known as employee satisfaction survey uh, which is already we have tested everything and we are just in the finalized process to release it and that price of the product will be triple nine dollar so understand this how this is a production use product and also we will add another product which is a leave request application and if you'll now access uh, you know enroll for this then you will get the complete product access also like these two products not the complete products because we'll have more products now you can see here this is the product that you are going to get you can see it here the employee satisfaction survey this is a complete uh, you know a solution uh, or a application that you can directly use on your organization also is is that level right so uh, why i have added it because if you want to uh, you know if you want to really be an expert on on power platform and sharepoint all these things then you should have a complete idea on that so that's the reason we have added it you can see it here right so you will get everything now on this price and once that will be released then the price will increase so uh, if you were really serious about learning something then you can think of joining it definitely this will help you in uh, upgrading your job you are getting a job everything right so now we will go back to our other example so in this example next one what i'll do is now let's say i will add it i want to get details of a particular user now that user uh, you know that you, you that user can be anything you can select it from a gallery you can select it from a drop down anything what we will do now is i will just bind it uh, from the email address so what i'll do here is uh, i'll just add a button here first of all so if you'll see here i'll add a button i i will make like this and i will just change the text label here like get user details okay like this uh, and uh, what we will do now is on this uh, i will go to the on select property here i will create a variable on this you can see here select set variable var and then i will say uh, or i'll say uh, sorry i'll take var selected user right and this is the variable name and then what will be the uh, you know how we can get access from the for the properties of that particular user so you will say office 365 users dot and then if you'll see here it will come back then there will be a, a method called as user profile v2 and then it will take a email address so i'll just copy the email address of a particular user let's say this email address we will take so i'll just copy this and i will go here and i will add it okay so now 
and i'll end the bracket so now this uh, this will be available now what will happen is if i'll click on this button then this variable will be populated and we can get the values so if i'll just click on alt and uh, you know press alt and click on the button then that uh, that will be clicked will be work so now we have the value in this variable so same way what i'll do here is i will add two but two labels and we will just try to get the values here now in the first label what i'll do here is if you'll see here our variable name is var selected user dot and let's say i will take the display name now you can see here the display name is coming correctly second one suppose i will take is var selected user dot uh, let's say i will take the department now you can see here it is showing marketing right so that means both the things are there now all the properties how we are getting the lock current logged in users details same way you can get the details of this user where we have passed the email address right so this is how you can get uh, the you know the details of any user that will provide the email address there by using user profile v2 action on this right so i hope you got an idea about how we can use this action uh, you know this is quite you will use on your power apps applications and also do consider check out uh, the training courses that i said because now the products you will get it with the same price with uh, 249 dollar i'll put the link in the video descriptions and also if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel and so that you will get notification on the videos that i'll make thank you and have a nice day